All right, now I'm going to show you the um, latitude and longitude inputs you can put in here for uh, generating fixes and all that. Um, it's actually very similar to if you go into the index and pause init page. The format is pretty much how it's going to be. It's going to be um, degrees and then decimal minutes. All right, so let's just go ahead and put in our current position and we'll show it on the map here. Actually, let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Close enough. All right, so our current position is going to be at north 39.52.0. You don't have to, um, if you do have like a decimal here, like 0.3, you don't have to add a zero to the end of it. Um, it'll just input it for you. And we're going to be west 075. You must include the uh, degrees for longitude. It always must be three digits. So if it was one, for example, it would be 001. Otherwise, it's not going to recognize it. All right, so we are west 07514.3. You could also put a slash and name this fix. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it blank. So get rid of that, and I'll just put it here. And there we go. As you can see, it's pretty much sitting on our current position right now. And that is mostly it for the full lat and long inputs. Now we can go ahead and show you the shorthand lat and longs. All right, so in this case, um, if you notice that there's really only one letter you need. So in this case, we want to do our current position again. So I'm just going to put in 39. And we had 75 north. We're going to use N because N means north and west. So if you go ahead and throw that in. Our point is here, but it's because it's, uh, there's no decimals here, it's going to be 39 and 75. So it's going to be a little bit away from us. Let's see if we can zoom out and find it. Uh, there it is. Okay, so there is the point. Everything looks good there. Now, we could also, um, if you had a number that was greater than 100, or a longitude that was greater than 100. So in this case, I'll do the exact same thing. But let's see, we were 39. And instead of 075, imagine that we were 110 west. So in that case, we would go ahead and put the um, the dub the I'm sorry the n here, and then that takes place of the hundreds digits of the longitude. So I said it was 110, so we'll just go ahead and put 10 in there. We'll go ahead and drop that on. It's going to be way out there, probably further than this can even show. Yeah, that's way out there. So um, that is how you do the shorthand. And I think those are mostly used uh, if you're doing like uh, over the across the ocean, something like that, for reporting points and all that. So that's pretty much it for the um, shorthand. You also cannot uh, put any names for the shorthand. It's just going to show up like that on your display. So a little bit trickier, but I think you should be able to figure out based on the uh, syntax there.